What do we see? <sighs> so that. You see? You see the word up there? Probably up there, maybe. We saw, we saw Ouija. And it was so bad, it was so funny. And it was not connected to the German photographer, the crime photographer from New York City, whose Dr. Strangelove's voice was based on. It was a real guy. No, it was based off of the Hasbro board game. I can still hear it making a noise. She's playing Plague on my old phone. But, yeah, so basically this movie was, please buy our board game and summon the dead. Well, yeah, also I'll... buy Apple products. You really should buy Apple products. A bunch of, of stupid people will be all like, I'm going to try and make it this happen so all my friends get killed. Yeah. In the California suburbs, where everyone has exquisitely beautiful houses and furniture, the entire cast is basically like if I was horror... lusting after like their furnishings. This yeah. is this is a true story. I was like, look at that. Why can't we have nice things? Like I want that cabinet. Imagine a horror movie where almost every single character is like Mitt Romney's extended family. No, because the one girl was Hispanic, and so was the grandmother randomly. Pretty sure he has. Uh... We saw some black people in crowd shots. He has, a, he has some non-white family members. Oh, yeah, like wasn't adopted he like stuff. From, from born in Mexico? His, his, his father, father was born, born in Mexico. Mexico yeah. But yeah, so um, the premise of the, the movie is that there's a, the blonde dies within like, oh, spoiler, 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 spoiler. But you know, uh, dies with like in the first five minutes. She hangs herself on her Christmas lights and they're still like illuminated. <laughs> Yeah, and, and then now, and then in every other scene they're right back where they were before because of course someone like wound them off of her dead throat and put them back up the same there's way. A, there's at most three floors to this house, and yet she falls and lands with such fucking speed and ferocity. It one, it doesn't break the cord. This is just, just your standard white Christmas lights. It doesn't like, either break the cord or pull it out of the socket. Yeah, and she was going at terminal fucking velocity. She should not have been that fast. And yeah, yeah, America. Maybe she was helped with like by a spirit. So. I know American plugs. You guys, the fucking oh, thing would be like go. pulled out. It would be much more amusing if you like, like, and then fell the rest of the way. I guess. So she dies, and her best friend's like, no. Oh yeah, she was. She used a Ouija board and um, an antique Ouija board. Even though in the rules the thing says say goodbye, and she said goodbye. Yeah, but she'd also summoned like evil demons. So I think it doesn't matter if you say goodbye if evil demons are the See, the other characters didn't say goodbye. If you're an evil demon, right? The, the other characters didn't say goodbye, so according to the rules of the board, they were being stupid and they, they're okay targets. This woman at the start, she said goodbye. The yeah. films, you're, you know, Hasbro are trying to advertise their product for Contact in the Dead, which, if you follow the rules exactly, you can still be killed by. Right. So... I just, I can't even describe this movie. It was just so, so stupid. And it just, it, there's like, of course, it turns out back in the 40s, people were murdered and they died, and the little girl went missing, except for her body is still in the secret room in the basement near a huge wood burning furnace that would have been removed, actually, because that doesn't, it's against fire code. So. A furnace like that, which looks like it would be in the basement of an apartment complex circa 1930, when the house was modernized, because it was very modernized, had a pool and everything, that would have been torn out and a modern boiler would have been installed. Just saying. But yeah, there's like a body in there. Modern they, boiler's not good for burning they, a body in. If she contacted this young little girl who was killed by her mum in the 40s, and the mum was a spiritualist, and then the older sister killed the mum, so they go to a psychiatric. You're uh, saying mum instead of mum. I know, it's, it's wow. terrible. It's, uh, I She's know. possessed. Stop it, I'm possessed by language. But, yeah, so, and then they go to the psychiatric prison where the woman still is, and of course she's allowed to see this prisoner, like, just because. And the woman's like, oh yeah, well, you have well, to I mean, find I... the body of our sister, which I never thought to tell the police or anything, it was still in the house. And, um, uh, cut the, on her mummified tribal body, cut the, 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 the cords that are tying her mouth shut, because the mom sewed her mouth shut, and then she'll be able to defeat Mother. And they're like, all right, that sounds like a good plan. the Mother's the, the evil one. And of course, we have to trust this little old lady, because she was one of the crazy cannibals in 2001 Maniacs, you mm -hmm. know, the remake of the... And if Russell anything, Gordon people in wheelchairs should never lie, because she's in a wheelchair, for reasons yeah. I don't know. But so they go, and they're like, oh, you know, oh, one of our friends has already killed themselves, you know, one like, of our we're going to try and contact our dead friend because yeah. we're all depressed and stuff. And then they're well, all like, I mean, okay, fair enough. The part at the beginning where they're reacting to their friend's suicide was 
a little bit difficult. You know, I mean, that part was portrayed very genuinely. They kept telling the main character, oh, you just need to get over it. Okay, your best friend since, like, you know, kindergarten just died, like, two weeks ago, but you need to, like, get over it. And I'm like, let the poor girl grieve, for Christ's sake. So, they, it's just they so contact jumbled. The little girl they contact was called DZ. So, so, I was all like, oh, man, they're contacting Denzel Washington. This would have be been DW. Denzel. Oh, for Christ. Yeah, but so, and stuff, this movie was made of jump scares and no actual tension. And so they go, and they go into the secret door without telling the cops, snip, and they, snip, they, snip, snip. you know, a corpse that has already been desiccated, or, you know, desiccated and desecrated, they desecrate again, and so the girl appears, and she kills the mother spirit, and like, By Whoa. screaming at it. And she, like, vanishes into her shadow and whatever. From Nagasaki style? Yeah. That was really offensive. I mean, I was thinking it, but I didn't say it. But yeah, so that happens. But the, the little yeah. girl, she possesses people and they kill themselves. One of them laps up a thing with a thing around their neck. Clunk. Yeah. Another one is like possessed and then she gets so lifted, lifted up. in the air and then levitated and lands head first on, on the a porcelain. Even though the water in the bath is like overflowing, so she could have like leapt into the. Into That's the bath what I was thought was going to happen next. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Then another one, this guy's just pushed, not possessed at all, just pushed into a pool and like. But sunk. he gets, but he gets, nobody gets caught up in the pool wrapper, so he can't get out. Yeah. And but, then they like her, the girl, and the sister. But, but her, her ways of killing people are just incredibly arbitrary. Yeah. And so then the next, like the girl and her sister. Well, the girl's a rebellious sister, by the way. So, um, the, they get back into the, they get to the house, like, oh, you, Trevor was already here, things and stuff, and then they hear, like, water dripping, and he's facing the fireplace, and I didn't mean to, I said, like, is he peeing? Because it really looked like he was standing and pissing into the empty fireplace, and... It was uh, like the water sports version of the end of Blair Witch. Yeah, I was like, he's not peeing, is he? Although, I was a little bit disappointed in the dairy audience, I did not shout things out. You got to note at me when I was yelling stuff. No, because we were having like full fledged conversations, and I was afraid that because the the woman two rows in front of us kept looking at behind us, and I was afraid she was going to call an usher. But Did yeah, she? no, she, she she kept like, and I was like, Ush. yeah, like the best thing I heard was um, one goes, oh look at fucking that. That's like the only good thing I heard. I was ready. I was ready for like for like the Annabelle girl, like Jesus, don't do it, don't go in there. Look, it's right behind you. <laughs> and I didn't get that, and I was sad. But, yeah, so then they're like, wait a second, they go back to the psychiatric hospital and they see the lady and she's like, I tricked you, now she's free, my mom was the good one, <laughs> I'm crazy, and then some police officer's like, ma'am, and like, sub subdue her. Yeah, the elderly ghost didn't really help her case by being clearly evil looking. Yeah. She looked like, she looked like the old woman from oh, Insidious, Insidious too. too. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. And then, so, of course they go to her Hispanic grandmother. Who has only really showed up to be like, I'm your grandmother, dear. And another scene, he'd be like, don't use the dark arts. And they're like, Grandma, what should we do? Oh, well, because I'm the old ethnic stereotype, I know everything about the spiritual world. You have to burn the body and the spirit board. She says while she's in front of this huge, beautiful Chinese cabinet. I mean, you guys, it was like like an armoire style with like, oh, it's so many drawers, mm -hmm. I want it. I spent most of this film lusting after other people's furnishings. I'm just saying. If you can do that in a horror film, they're not really succeeded at Because they? in horror, because I know, I, I even in, even when we saw, um, just now, the Babadook, I was like, I look at people's, I look, I pay attention to details. I'm looking and evaluating people's houses by, like, the the way the set designer has designed them. I just, like, the sink in, in Insidious 2. It was, a it was a beautiful cast iron sink, you guys. It was beautiful. But anyway, so yeah. So they go, and it's her and the sister, because everybody else is dead, and sisterly love and power. And they're gonna burn the body, but the sister gets knocked out, and then the, the girl's like, Oh, I circled once. You have to play with me. I'm playing alone. So, of course, the demon's like, Well, sure. And it's twisting her up, and she's like, Ugh. And then her friend, the ghost, appears, and she's like, Don't like, worry. Oh, no. I got you, friend. And she, like, turns it back, and then the they take the corpse of the young girl, the cold case, you know, from, like, 70 years ago, that I'm sure the police would at least want to know about. Burn the body there in the boiler with the Ouija What's board. What's more baffling is that they had at least several days between finding the, the dead body cops. and cutting the, the strings to release her yeah. and then burning her. So they just left her there in this house Tell without telling the family the who lives there. This is so stupid. This is so bad. Like, it's a found footage movie. I can understand it, but they had no excuse. They had a full camera crew. But yeah, so, and then they're safe. And then she and her sister are close again. And this is like, oh, I wonder what happened to all those evil spirits that, you know, went out of the girl and she's like, I don't know. 
And then she's going like in flossing, and there's no music, so I'm like, oh, something bad's gonna happen. This film is something against flossing, because yeah. the other girl died while flossing. Yeah. The, the Hispanic girl did. And then she comes back, oh no, the pochette from the Ouija board is right there, setting us up for a sequel, and it cost $5 billion to make this movie, and it took in $43 million in the U.S., so you know there's going to be a sequel. This was a silly and, film. And all of these kids, though, they all had, had um, MacBooks, and they all would use them so you could see the, the Apple logo. And they all looked like Mila Kunis. Yeah, well, not the boys. No, they all the main, the the main character looked like a young Mila Kunis, but her face was a little bit round. Her face was more like a young Christina Ricci, though. She was just she was cute, you know, she was cute, had a cute face. Didn't like the sister. The sister had some weird eyebrow thing going on. I just couldn't get into that. But. She was all, I'm rebellious. I'm rebellious. Yeah, she's like, she's like, really, you're sneaking out to see your boyfriend. She's like, you're not mom. Things and stuff. And then the the girl's going out, and she's like, I'm going out. And so she's like, are you listening to me? And the sister has her headphones on her her. Apple iPod headphones, and she's like, while well, she's studying, she's like, what? Okay, yeah, no, no. And I'm like, oh yeah, she's so really rebellious. She's obviously doing her homework. Just saying. But it, this was just so stupid and contrite, and like, I can't even say, oh, it's meant to push a Ouija board because, like, that's the worst product endorsement I've ever heard. Please, you, better if the you girl... buy our product and well, and learn that. Why couldn't they be all like, okay, girl? Commit suicide at the start. No, no Ouija board involved. Oh, and a big and part then of they find the, a Ouija board. Is the family the family just can't stay in the house right then, which is understandable. So they leave. They have, apparently rich enough. They have somewhere else to go. They tell the girl just stop in the you know once every you know day or two and you know just water the plants, make sure everything's fine. So like they go, they keep having freaking seances there. The first night, the power goes out through the whole house. No, no, the, f the first night, a guy, le his oh, head yeah. gets smashed into a head TV. Head and head gets... No, it wasn't TV. It was a, it was a, it was a full-length mirror, honey. Regardless. And he's like, he's just like, shattering like it all. And he, you know, no blood or anything on his face. There's no bruise his on his... It was like through his head. Yeah. And he's just like, well, I'm perfectly fine. And they didn't like think to like try to replace the mirror. The second night, the power goes. They don't think to call the family and say, oh, by the way, the whole power cut out in your whole house. You know, where's the circuit box or something like that? They don't, oh, they, oh, we've discovered a corpse in your basement. They don't think to call it, and this is, this is the family that, you know. You're stealing antiques from your, from your um, attic as well. Well, it's not really stealing antiques, I mean. Well, there's antiques up there. They're, they're not, like, taking the defense and they're not going to give them back. But, like, you know, the, her friend's, Debbie, the friend Debbie's mom is obviously, like, her second mom. Like, they've been best friends since forever, you know? You'd think she'd want to contact the family of the best friend she just lost and say, you know, things and stuff. So there's a, there's, like, the, the, the her boyfriend is still dead in their pool. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently so, and they all laugh yeah. at the end of the night. It's like, well, I guess he's dead somewhere. Do, do, do. Yeah, they, they know he's dead, they don't know where, so he's, like, bloated and floating in the pool. It's just so clumsy. And, oh, her dad's some architect, because he had, construct he had a, a thing of construction drawings over his back. He's like, oh, well, once we get these zoning permits, I'll be back. So he's away on a business trip. There's, like, all the adults are conveniently out of the picture. Just... And they always leave their phones wherever they can't be reached. White you know? suburban teenagers messing around in houses that they don't deserve. Also by Apple. This is really stupid. It was, it was really bad. It I mean, was marginally better than I expected. It was actually worse than Insidious 2, because Insidious 2 did have some really cool little plot points that if they'd been... to fight about that. Remember, because I said in, in the thing that I saw what they were going for, but I would have written it differently to make it make sense. So they had some good little seeds in there, but I, the execution was flawed. I really didn't like Insidious 2. I know, but what I'm saying is they had, they had some, some ideas that worked and some that didn't. But this, just had, this was just bland and stupid, and not even the audience, you know, was there for me to make it funny. But we went to Weatherspoons after, so that was kind of cool. I got a steak, because it was steak night. It was cheap. You got ribs, because it was cheap. <laughs> so, if you're going to go see Ouija, you should probably go to Weatherspoons afterwards. It's fucking terrible, dude. I mean, yeah. It was not horrific. It was not horrorful. I mean, I don't, I don't like when horror movies go for the, this thing that happened a long time ago, if they're going to flub it. Like, make it good. Make it have impact. Make it have power. You know, like, Insidious 2 tried this, but they just went in so many different directions and it made no logical sense, and that's where they dropped the ball. Like, the first, the first Silent Hill movie is a, is a, good, is a good example of this. 
this thing that happened in the nebulous past, except not that nebulous, because the child is only a preteen. Like, if you're gonna use that thing, if you're gonna use, oh, the old-timey sepia-toned newspaper printings about a crime and, and finding artifacts in a sealed room, like, make it have more of a punch. Make it have, make it matter more. Make us feel it more. Don't just have it be like, oh, dear, somebody died and things and stuff. Like, I was told, my brother-in-law told me. Insidious 2 is terrible. Yeah. But they had some germs of good ideas, but they just... No, they didn't. Flub... No. Yes, they do. Like, no. the whole thing with the, and the the bodies and the thing, and they just tried to go in so many different directions. Go back and watch the backseat critique that you and I and Aaron did. And, and, and I made these same points, and I said, in the hands of a competent scriptwriter, this could have worked, that could have worked, but only if they did that in this way and this way. Audience back me up on this, because we knew we were there. He's too is evil. But anyway, so my brother and I told me that in my bedroom, there is a fireplace. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's been bricked up and plastered over, but it's there. If we were in a horror movie, that would be really important and really significant. You know? But I just... Like, oh, the, the, and it even said in the newspaper, the, the police suspect the mother had something to do with her disappearance. But they didn't, and, and it's not like the room was hidden. It, what are you doing behind my head? Because I can see it in the viewfinder. Because, oh, they moved, like, one crate, and they found this, like, little tunnel that led to the thing that's been boarded up. Yeah, the police are, like, looking in there, it's like, ah, there's nothing there. It's just stupid and bad, and don't see it. Don't give them any more money. Michael Bay was involved, and we looked at the director. It's his directorial debut. He's a production assistant. He's a special effects guy. I mean, he's did some writing for screenplays for TV movies, but I just can't recommend. What do you think? Bad. Bad, yeah. bad, 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 bad. Five million dollars that could have been given to me bad. was wasted on this. So that's what we have to say about that. Bad, bad, bad movie. Go see Bobby Dickens. Bad movie. No. Go see Baba Duke instead, it was better.